Hey everyone, it's me Payal and thank you so much for watching me. So today I'm going to show you how to make a unicorn. So for that I'm going to use mixed media and watercolor both the technique in my project. So I'm using watercolor from the Prima Marketing and the paper is 300 GSM which I bought it from the Michaels. It's a regular watercolor paper. So first I'm going to apply the middle tone of watercolor on the border of this unicorn and then I'm just applying some light shade and dark shade to give some light and dark shades. So currently I'm working with 100 days art challenge on my Instagram. So you can see all the challenges, all the artwork for the 100 days on my Instagram. So make sure that you follow me on my Instagram and this project is for day 41. So now I'm just giving small detailing on the hair of unicorn with the dark and light shades. And I'm going to use this purple shade and I'm just applying the middle tone first and then I give some highlight with the lighter tone and the darker tone. This is my own technique. This is not the perfect technique for the watercolor but I usually do the watercolor like this way. So I'm doing like this and then I'm going to do the same shade on the face of this unicorn. So first I'm going to apply the middle tone on all over the face and then I'm just giving some highlights and some darker tone with the black and dark purple. After that I am going to do this eye of this unicorn. I feel that the eye is main center point, main focal point of this unicorn. So I am trying to make it more gorgeous. So for that I am using a green and yellow shade to make an eyeball. After that I am going to apply some watercolors on the ears of this unicorn. I took the reference of this image from the Google. I just typed like watercolor uh, unicorn. Then I found this image and I thought that it's a perfect for my mixed media watercolor. So after that I am going to give some my personalized touch, some my mixed media touch to this unicorn. Now I am going to do some watercolor on the con of this unicorn. So for the final detailing I am using a black watercolor and a very thin brush but it's my mistake you can also use a marker like a thin marker pen and then I'm just making some water splashes all around on my page and so now it's time for the mixed media so first of all I'm doing some stamping on my project so for that I'm using this scripted block stamp which I bought it from the Michaels and I just love this stamp I use this stamp in lots of my project and then I'm using this circular clear stamp which is from the Fina Bear After that I will do some stenciling on my project. So for the stenciling I am going to use this circular stencil which is from the Itsy Bitsy brand called Little Body and I am using this embossing texture paste which is also from the same brand uh, Itsy Bitsy. Shade of this embossing texture paste is a fristy piece. In the last I am just decorating my project with the flowers and the wooden chipboard. So this wooden chipboard is from Itsy Bitsy brand called Little Body. And then I'm going to use some flowers. The center flower is from the Prima Marketing and other flowers is from the Little Birdie. And I'm using a hot glue gun to stick all the embellishment on my project. So I hope you like this time lapse of a mixed media. If you like this kind of the video then make sure you hit the like button or a comment below so I can make a more videos about the mixed media time lapse. And in the last I'm just giving some darker shade with the pencil color. And that's all about today's video. I hope you like it and I hope you like my unicorn. And make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't it already. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye.